The city is currently experiencing an increase in vandalism. For instance, the out-of-town park slide costs the city about $10,000 to replace, including the staff labor to make it safe. However, with supply chain issues, the new slide on order has been on back order for almost a year now. Parks irrigation damages cost the city about $2,500, including labor and the parts are hard to find as well. They're also on back order. The damages to the in-town park restrooms cost $15,000 to $20,000, including labor to install new stainless steel fixtures. Park graffiti vandalism costs alone are estimated to be approximately $250 per week, including our labor and materials to either remove or paint over them. Vandalism is plaguing our city park system and seems to be on the rise. Our vandals seem to target the parks, in particular the in-town park, the skate park, especially the out-of-town park. They are the largest targets by far. But the rodeo grounds and the smaller parks experience damage as well. For instance, we've experienced vandalism in the historic Fernley Depot and the Fernley Chamber of Commerce building. Our street divisions have also had to deal with graffiti vandalism, such as tagging on fences, signs, utility boxes, and even our remote facilities from time to time are damaged. The water tanks get shot at. Vandalism recently occurred weekly to some degree and more prevalently in the weekends. We try to staff employees on the weekend rounds to keep our presence in the parks. In the last quarter, at least 10 to 12 incidents of vandalism have occurred. The most common type of vandalism is graffiti, playground equipment damage, damage or theft of irrigation equipment, breaking of permanent restroom fixtures, portable toilets get damaged, and trespassing with motorcycles or ATVs on park turf, and the dumping of household trash. The city owns and manages 14 park properties, which includes approximately 166 acres of parks, open space, and landscaped areas. Unfortunately, the actions of a few are affecting thousands of park users every day. The city doesn't have a budget, specifically for vandalism, but we have a small budget to replace parks equipment, street signs, etc. Unfortunately, the vandalism costs are not only material costs, but labor as well. In the last five years, the cost of vandalism has increased with the damages to playground equipment, sign. Vandalism costs between $25,000 to $50,000 a year in materials. Additionally, we estimate another twenty-five dollars to $30,000 in labor costs due to these daily events. When we find damages that are estimated over $2,000, then we always file a sheriff's report. We have captured video of individuals and caught individuals in the act and interact with the courts if and when individuals are caught and prosecuted for damages done to the city property. However, there's a very small chance that we recoup any costs through the court system. We do have video surveillance at our parks and we find that it is pre-teens to early 20s are most common in the videos we have. We're asking residents, if you see something, say something. Not only is vandalism of property disrespectful and expensive to fix, it's against the law. Please report any damage you see. It affects all of us, both private citizens, if their fence get tagged, or the city property that gets tagged. It costs all of us. Be ever vigilant and watch for any vandalism that you see and please report it.